So we are aware of the court decision. We have discussed it with the Prime Minister, with cabinet colleagues, with senior federal government officials and experts. We respect very much Canada's independent judiciary. However, we do not agree with this decision and respectfully, we will be appealing it. I would just like to take a moment to remind Canadians of how serious the situation was in our country when we took that decision. The public safety of Canadians was under threat. Our national security, which includes our national economic security, was under threat. It was a hard decision to take. We took it very seriously after a lot of hard work, after a lot of careful deliberation. We were convinced at the time, I was convinced at the time, it was the right thing to do. It was the necessary thing to do. I remain and we remain convinced of that. And I'll now turn it over to my colleague, the Minister of Justice, and then we'll hear from my colleague, the Minister of Public Safety. Arif, over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Christia. Just to build on what uh, Minister Freeland was mentioning, uh, the uh, court decision, uh, we've received the judgment. Uh, we've done a preliminary review of the judgment. Uh, the judgment finds in certain respects that the decisions of the uh, government uh, were valid and within, were within constitutional parameters. In other respects, it finds it was not. Um, upon reviewing that decision, we obviously reiterate the respect for the judicial process that Minister Freeland has just mentioned, but a fundamental aspect of the judicial process is also proceeding on an appeal. And after that consultation with the Prime Minister, with Cabinet colleagues, we've uh, taken the decision that we, we, we will be proceeding on an appeal, as is within our rights within ju the judicial system. No. So I'll turn to Minister LeBlanc to just outline where we were two years ago when the significant decision to protect Canadians was taken by the Government of Canada. Dominic? Uh, well, merci, merci, Arif. Yeah. So just to add to what my colleague said, I think it's important to remember the context almost two years ago uh, today, uh, those weeks uh, in late January and February two years ago, uh, the public safety and the national security context. Uh, I was in Ottawa during those weeks, uh, as were my colleagues. I participated in the cabinet discussions. We were updated by senior officials about the risks of uh, copycat incidents at other border crossings. I spoke to premiers from British Columbia to Nova Scotia about risks uh, to their uh, community safety. Uh, we saw border crossings and the damage to the Canadian economy, thousands of jobs put at risk. We spoke with the Premier of Ontario and the Government of Ontario that supported the invocation of the Emergencies Act two years ago. I think that's an important moment. I think it's also important to consider the government was given information uh, with respect to the disruption at the border crossing in Coots, Alberta. Uh, it's not banal when the security services tell you that they found two pipe bombs and 36,000 rounds of munition uh, and ended up laying criminal charges as serious uh, as conspiracy to commit murder uh, and assaulting peace officers. So, the context is important. I think it's also important to note that the House of Commons ratified the decision to invoke. Um, but as my colleague said, uh, the judicial system uh, also includes uh, appeal mechanisms, and the government's made that decision. But uh, I certainly, as a minister who participated in those discussions and who spoke to premiers across the country, uh, am very satisfied that we made a reasonable decision. Uh, and we'll now let the appeal courts uh, consider uh, the filings from my colleagues. If, if, I, if I could just add one, one thing, in terms of the uh, ju judicial decision that was rendered today, we also know that uh, a member of the Court of Appeal, Justice Rulo, conducted a very public 
comprehensive and transparent investigation into the reasonableness of the government's decision. That decision stands at odds with the decision that was rendered today. I think that is important and that also informs our decision and our basis upon which we will proceed to an appeal. The decision seems to single out some of your choices on freezing bank accounts and credit cards as being part of the reason where it's unreasonable in terms of the measures taken by the government. You defended those when you announced them at the time. Do you have any regrets on, on taking that measure in the light of this decision? Would you have done it differently uh, based on what uh, we've seen from the federal court today? Uh, as I said in my opening remarks, we faced as a country and as a government an incredibly serious threat, a threat to the public safety of many Canadians, a threat to our national security, including our national economic security. We acted to secure and protect Canada and to secure and protect the national interest. It was not an easy time. These were not easy decisions. In making our decisions and choosing to act, we worked very, very hard with all levels of government, and we were very mindful of acting in such a way that the safety, the physical safety of all Canadians involved would be preserved. We, I don't want to minimize the gravity of the actions we took. Neither do I want to minimize the gravity of the threat Canada faced. And to your question, I was certain after a lot of deliberation with colleagues and many others that we took the right decision. I was certain at the time. I was certain when I testified before Rouleau and I remain certain today. Thank you. Serious threats. Court didn't just take issue with the fact that you acted. It took issue with how you acted, how you wrote the regulations you did, including in that PCO uh, memo. There's a warning that the decisions you're taking and how you're writing them were open to constitutional challenge. Looking back, was there a, a necessary step you had to take to minimize the constitutional impact of these regulations? And did you did you do a good job? of respecting Canadian civil liberties in writing those regulations? Last question. Uh, look, I, I truly do not want to minimize the fact that we took these decisions with a heavy heart. This was not a situation we wanted to find ourselves in, and these were not actions we took with any satisfaction or relish. This was, however, and I want people to remember that, an extremely tense time. The safety of individual Canadians was under real threat, as Minister LeBlanc has pointed out. Our national security was under real threat, our national security including our economic security. That was the reality of that moment. We explored many, many avenues to bring this to an end. This was an option of the last resort. We believed at the time that it was absolutely necessary for us to act and for us to act in a way that minimized the physical danger to all Canadians. That was, that, was, that, that was really important to us. We believed we were doing something necessary and something legal at the time. That was our belief then. That was our belief as we testified at length to Chief Justice Rouleau. That continues to be my belief today. As our Minister of Justice has said, we will confident in that belief, be appealing this decision. Thank you very much. Thank you.